we fly pretty much everything from uh, cardiac uh, emergencies, uh, heart conditions. Uh, we fly accidents in which uh, patients have um, been in a uh, physical accident or a skiing accident, a boating accident. Uh, we've had uh, patients that have had uh, diving accidents that have had uh, emergent situations. We fly pretty much worldwide, so we've had a, a number of flights. Uh, um, the most difficult uh, would have to be from a Central American country in which uh, there was practically no medical uh, care or facilities, in which the, the gentleman was uh, had uh, extensive cardiac uh, problems and so it was a full team with uh, full medical uh, equipment needed, uh, medis medications that were also not available there. Uh, went in, uh, the patient was uh, actually in, in a bad situation where he was coded in the hospital. We revived him uh, and were able to get him stable enough to, to uh, air ambulance him out to uh, a United States uh, medical facility. My chief role is to coordinate um, report on a patient when they get the call that someone needs to be moved from either another country and back into the United States or locally from east coast to west coast, anywhere in between. Um, I take report, determine who flies, um, determine who makes up the team whether it's a critical patient that requires a physician, a nurse, and a respiratory therapist, or a nurse-nurse, or nurse-respiratory therapist. We have a different combinations depending on the, the condition of the patient. I can remember a patient we transported out of Mexico. He was uh, injured in a very remote area of Mexico, and there was a dirt landing strip with a shack at the end. There were no towers, no anything. We landed and it was like a scoop and run and he was sobbing on the plane that he was ever so grateful and he was a physician, that he was so grateful that we came to his rescue and, and got him out of the country and back to the United States so he could have surgery. Well, flight nurse takes care of a patient during the flight. We're the team leader and uh, we're in charge of our crew which it consists of a, either a paramedic or a respiratory therapist and we take care of all aspects of our patient care, including monitoring, any kind of treatments that we need to do, and reassuring the patient and doing what's best for the patient. A uh, medical escort is needed after someone goes through some kind of trauma or has an injury when they're not at home, whether they're traveling overseas or whether they're in the United States. We travel all over the world to help get people back home after an injury or illness while they're traveling. Uh, a lot of patients are stabilized quite a bit by the hospitals that they're at. So for instance, a, his, a, a patient that's fallen and has a hip fracture, they don't necessarily need to be in a stretcher with cardiac monitoring and all the amenities that an air ambulance would provide. So we send a nurse to go help them um, in every part of getting home as far as we get them the wheelchairs, we transfer them from seat to seat. We provide oxygen if necessary with our concentrators. Um, we can provide medications if they need them. So we're there to be the nurse and to give them all the care that they could, that they need um, to get home without having to have the critical care ambulance. We've handled every type of case from pediatrics to 94 year olds. We've had everything from uh, heart attack, stroke, pneumonia, patients, uh, traumatic falls, broken arms, broken legs, you name it. This service is very important to our clients. They, the number one thing they want to do is get back home and to feel safe again. Thank you.